Hey Monkey Maniacs, it's Akir, and today I'm here to talk all about the Zero Swing Turnaround, what it is, why it's important, and how you can practice it. Zero Swing Turnaround, which I will now be abbreviating to ZST for the rest of this video, is a frame-perfect tech Donkey Kong can use to drastically reduce the time spent turning around via neutral B-charge. As some of you may already know, DK can turn himself around in the air by B-reversing his neutral B-charge, then act out of it by cancelling the animation. This ordinary turnaround out of his neutral B has no catches. Simply interrupt the charging animation with either L or R, and at the end of his charging animation's loop, he'll exit the animation and become actionable. Doing this as quickly as possible loops the animation only once, and we'll call this a Single Swing Cancel, or SSC. However, DK's SSC suffers from one critical issue. It's slower than Bowser's entire moveset. So is there a way to work around this? Good news, there is. But first, we need to start by breaking down how DK's neutral B charging works. It can be broken down into two parts. The startup, when DK transitions from his normal idle animation to the neutral B charge animation, and the charge loop, which comprises of DK completing one full rotation with his arm. Each iteration of the charge loop will add to DK's neutral B charge, and then either repeat the animation, or, if either a trigger button was pressed or the max charge reached, cancel the animation after the loop ends. This is where the problem of the SSC lies. It cancels DK's neutral B after one iteration of the loop. This means you have to sit through the 8 frame startup animation and the 12 frame loop animation just to turn around. Now those of you with a keen eye may have noticed that this whole time I've been talking about cancelling just the loop animation, and not at all about the startup animation. And you might be wondering if we can cancel the startup animation instead to bypass the 12 frames unnecessarily spent in the loop animation. The answer is barely. See, when you cancel DK's neutral B during the loop animation, you can hit L or R at any point in the animation, and it will buffer the cancel for the end of the loop. However, such is not the case for the startup animation. During the first 7 frames of the startup animation, trigger inputs will not only not cancel the animation, they won't buffer the cancel either. The input will simply die. It's only during the 8th and final frame of the startup animation that a trigger input will successfully cancel the startup animation, and this variation of the cancel is a ZST. Well, we can cancel DK's neutral B animation after the startup now. What does this allow us to do that we couldn't before? Allow me to provide a brief overview. Tricky movement on side platforms. Grab ledge in unanticipated ways. Back air from ledge. Turn around back air out of short hop. And so much more. Be creative and the sky is the limit. ZST is a frame perfect technique, so don't expect it to come easily. There isn't too much here I can say other than to just attempt it over and over, but one tip I can give is that you should practice CST with grounded neutral B. The timing is the same, and you can just keep attempting cancels until the timing feels intuitive. If you're hitting the trigger and performing an SSC, then you're doing it too slow. And if you're hitting the trigger and your charge isn't canceling at all, then you're doing it too fast. <laughs> 